everyone, hi! I'm um, just saying hello and um, this is my first video since my series of videos about my stillbirth and um, hopefully I can just move forward and not make any more depressing videos. Okay, so I've got some news, I've got some news. Um, I'm pregnant! And all sorts of good things. I'm pregnant, not only am I pregnant, I'm actually 20 weeks pregnant this week. And um, it's really, really exciting. And I wanted to do videos of the, you know, the process so far, but I will come back and do another video about why that just didn't happen. And um, just to let you know, the, one of the reasons I'm making this video actually is not only to share my experiences with you and to share my experiences with, with mothers who are looking, from, looking to have a baby after a stillbirth or a miscarriage or a, um, an infant death or anything of that nature. Um, but also it's a, it's a video diary for my children, for my children to come. I want them to be able to watch this one day, all these videos one day and just know what mummy did and how mummy got through some really tough times, you know, and I don't know, hopefully that will bless them, which is excellent. But just to let you know, I am officially 20 weeks and 5 days pregnant today. And I just wanted to tell you about the journey of being 20 weeks pregnant. It's just amazing, even though this is my second baby, I'm just amazed. You know, when you have a stillbirth or when you've lost something, you know, when you have it again, you just tend to cherish every moment that you have. So that's kind of where I am. That's why I'm just so happy and just so full of life right now. But not only that, if you are 20, week, uh, 20 weeks pregnant or if you are just pregnant, congratulations. If you're 20 weeks, you are halfway there. Good. That can only be good, right? Just means your baby is nearly home and there can't be anything bad about that. Very, very exciting. So, some good things about being 20 weeks is, number one, you can feel lots more kicks. You can feel lots more movement. The kicks are more defined, they are stronger. When I feel my baby kick, I just imagine my baby having some strong limbs and just my baby's happy, my baby's moving. And you know, these are the very things that, you know, I missed last time when I, when I, had, when I was told that my baby was no longer alive. You know, those very things that I, the, the, you know, the things you remember and you just miss. I missed my baby's kicks after I gave birth, you know, and so on. So I'm so happy. And one of the good things about this week also is that this, the kicks, I mean, I've been feeling, I must tell you, I start, I felt the very first movement, it's not a kick, it was just a flutter, a thing, at nine and a half weeks pregnant with this baby. With my first baby, I felt movement at this, this exact time. It was the, the week of the, of the 20 week scan that I, I felt movement, which is at 20 weeks. And um, this time, because it's my second baby and my body is a lot more sensitive and of course I know what to look out for as well, which helps. I felt my first week, my first movement of baby at nine and a half weeks. But it was, you know, it was there and it wasn't. Anyway, long story short, um, at 20 weeks the kicks are more defined. But one of the most wonderful things is that the kicks are not only more defined inside my body, they are now defined outside my body. Which is good because it means that my husband has been able to get involved. Because I felt so bad, I felt like, you know, he was being left out each time baby kicks. I'd go, baby, come, baby's kicking, and he'd put his hand on my tummy and he won't be able to feel anything, of course. But I can feel everything inside. So now he's able to feel the, you know, the nudge and baby's like, you know, kicking his hand off. And it's just amazing. It's just so precious to us every moment. It's just so precious to us right now. You can only imagine, or you can only understand if you've been through what we went through with our first child. So we are just so happy. But just to give some updates of some of the wonderful things that's happening with baby that you might not know about. And um, just some things I found out on research. I'm not a medical professional in any way. This is all just research based. So I'll get my trusty book here. So, a few fun things happening to baby. Um, permanent second teeth are forming behind the milk teeth. Now, I don't know exactly what that means. All I'm hearing is teeth, teeth, teeth are forming now. I know that we need teeth. So if you're a woman who's praying for your baby's development, well, that's what I've been doing. You know, I, I find the facts about, you know, what's happening at 16 weeks, what's happening at 12 weeks, or whatever week I'm on, whatever. I find the facts and I, I, I pray specifically for those things. Um, you know, so this week, my baby's teeth are forming. That, can't, that can only be a good thing. You know, so you can pray about the strength of, of, you know, the teeth of your baby, the strength of, you know, your feeling kicks. Pray about the strength of those movements that they, they will never... You know, they will never stop, your baby will never stop moving, your baby will never stop breathing. These are the kind of things 
things I pray about. Another thing that's happening with baby this week is that baby is busy producing meconium. Now meconium is the black tar like poo that baby poos when um, the first poo when baby is born. Which is really exciting. Now I've seen it done before. I didn't see it happen with my first child, of course, because I had a still and just nothing of that nature happened anymore. But you know, when my nephews have been born or when my niece has been born, I've seen the black one, it's black. But it's good, it's cool. What it is is a mix of amniotic fluid and you know dead skin cells and all of those nasties that just need to come out and so they come out and it's amazing because you never see it again in that baby's life hopefully you never see it again for that baby and so you just cherish it and so on and i'm sure you know you'll be fine but you know this week that's forming and that can only be a good thing and something to look forward to now another thing that's happening this week is that baby's digestive system is um is, is getting stronger it's it's it's, it's now working which is good, we need our digestive systems to work properly. And I also noticed personally that baby is now in tune with my digestive system. So every time I eat or drink, baby is moving, which is really, really good. You know, just I just cherish every, every movement right now. I'm sure you understand where I'm coming from. So it's really exciting to feel baby move at those moments. Now, the most exciting thing about being 20 week pregnant is that this is the week when the genitals are actually fully, fully, fully formed and you can find out what you are having. Whether you are having a boy or a girl. Whether you are having a blue or a pink. I don't know what you want to call it, but this is the way when you find out what gender of the baby you are having. Now, I know that if you went privately, you can probably find out from, say, 16 weeks or so. Um, but however, if you are on the NHS, you get a scan at 20 weeks, which is the scan I have coming up tomorrow. And that's when you find out what sex of the baby you are having. Now, I will do another video about managing your expectations, which is what I've been trying to do. <laughs> Manage my expectations. To be honest with you, I'm happy. I just want a baby that's alive and well. That's it. You know, I know the sex of baby that I want, you know, that I prefer at, at this stage um, and so on. But to be honest with you, I'm just grateful. I'm just at the point where I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful for to be able to do this once again and to be able to feel this joy once again I'm just grateful so anyway that's what's happening here at 20 week um, so if you are if this is your um, 20 week um, bump anniversary whatever you want to call it um, you are doing well you are halfway there continue on congratulations to you and to me your baby will nearly be home and so will mine and I'm just so excited and I will keep you updated on how the gender reveal goes tomorrow but um, yes, we've been praying about it. We've been praying about the name for a baby, for our baby. And um, so tomorrow, my husband will finally tell me what he would like to name our child because I named the first, um, our first baby. And so I said, this time, how about let me hear what you have, what you come up with. I know he would just go, yeah, whatever you said, babe. Whatever you said, oh, that sounds really nice. I could come up with like a list of a million names. And he'd be like, babe, that, that's really nice. All of those names are really nice. You just choose one. So I've, I've said to him. You know, how about you give me a name this time? So I'm really excited. He's been keep, keeping his cards really, really close to his chest, which is a tad bit annoying for me uh, because I want to know what you plan to call my child. <laughs> but, he, he, you know, but it's also kept the excitement going, you know. So tomorrow he will finally tell me what names he has come up with. So I'm really, really excited. I know that whatever name he comes up with, I will love anyway. So that's really, really exciting. Just thinking if there's anything else I need to share about being. Um, 20 week pregnant. Yes, I have to tell you. Um, yes, there's been lots of ups um, being 20 week pregnant, but one of the downs that I have had actually, I started at my 19 weeks, is that my ligaments are now working pretty hard, and I think everything is just moving to make space for baby, make space for um, delivery, and so on. So I have been feeling quite bad discomfort sometimes. It's not that bad, really, I'm over exaggerating, but you know. It's, it's, it's unusual, I should say it's unusual, down here below at the bottom of my bump and of course it affects my walking and you know I've done some research and I did actually feel like this with my first except I didn't feel, I didn't feel it at 20 weeks, I think I felt it you know nearer the end of the journey and so that's why this time it was a bit more concerning but I will discuss it with, with them tomorrow when I go to the hospital. If you feel any discomfort, if you feel anything, even if you are unsure, Please pick up that phone and tell somebody, tell a medical professional. It's better to be safe than sorry. 
I wish I had gone to the hospital, you know, much earlier, for example, when I first went into labour. Even though I phoned them, they said to stay at home. I wish I had just turned up and said, I'm having a baby, check me now, as opposed to, I'm having a baby. Oh, how are you feeling? Oh, well, I'm feeling fine. Oh, then you can stay at home. That's not going to happen again. <laughs> they will get used to seeing this face and this precious little baby inside me. So that's one of the challenges. It's just the ligaments moving. And there's been some you know ups and downs emotionally and so on but this week has been particularly up because you know I'm just um, focusing on the good things I'm focusing on the scan tomorrow looking forward to seeing my baby on the screen I'm focusing on you know finding out what, what we will be calling our baby you know or at least getting closer to knowing what we would like to call our baby I'm just focusing on being happy and those are the very things you should focus on so congratulations if you are 20 weeks pregnant and uh, Take care of yourself. Until the next video, Pappy says.